Hi folks. Uh, I just wanted to take a minute to uh, try to help uh, Christina on her problem with the uh, Z-scores. And Brandon has outlined in detail how you do it uh, manually and using the tables or Excel. Um, I know some of you are tired of me suggesting using StatCrunch, but it is such an easy, easy tool to use and you have access to it. Let me just show you uh, how we do this. I'm going to bring up StatCrunch. I want to make it a little bit smaller so we can see it here. And let's just say that the answer is as Brian, Brandon, I'm sorry, um, suggested that the area between is 86%. So how do we find that? Well, in StatCrunch, we go to Stat, Calculators, Normal. And the beautiful thing about stat crunch is it draws our curve for us. This is the standard normal curve and that's what you need in order to get z-scores. This is a between problem according to the wording uh, of Christina and so we get our our rough curve and it shows the area between initially uh, minus 1z and plus 1z and that's 68 percent. We know our area is 0.86 percent so we click on compute and as Bra uh, Brandon said we know it's symmetrical so the 86 percent of the area under the standard normal curve lies between negative 1.476 Z and positive 1.476 Z and as he said that is the 7% let me um, I'm going to go back to standard for a second and let's put 0.07 in there and compute and um, here we see the left side of uh, the standard normal curve as, as Brandon described it the uh, the z scores when you go under the tables or the calculators it gives you the area on the curve from left infinity to the point uh, in question in this case again it's our 1.476 z and that's seven percent that way if we look on the right side and put in 0.07 again you see there is the seven percent uh, that is distributed on the upper side or the right side of the standard normal curve. So I hope this helps. Um, again, everybody has access to StatCrunch and it doesn't take long to uh, learn to use it. These calculators make quick work of finding z-scores and critical values of z and critical values of t. So uh, don't hesitate to use it.